it's Shishi. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome to Shishi vs. English. This is a place where I practice my English communication skills. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm so happy to have you back. Thank you. Today, I'm going to be talking about my minimalist skincare routine. As you can see from my little table here, uh, last video, I talked about my experience on having a uh, an allergic reaction so i figured maybe i should just share my skincare routine and what i did to improve it so here we are just a background i used to have an oily skin and i've only been using skincare for five to six years already but all throughout the years i feel like my skin has improved because i'm not that oily anymore I think I'm more on the normal side now. I'm still oily sometimes, but I have days when I have dry skin and that never happened before. And yeah, so I think all the things that I've been using really did somehow made an effect on my skin. So let's get right into my skincare. Uh, right now I consider my skincare a minimalist one, as you can see. But before, when I was starting to do my skincare, I literally have facial wash, facial scrub, toner, essence, serum, moisturizer, eye mask, sorry, eye, eye cream, uh, face mask, and I used to have all that. I, it, I literally have that 10-step Korean skincare routine. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm that kind of girl that before. I also uh, jump into those trendy skincare. Like I remember when the ordinary was like so trending, I bought that, and it's actually not a very good experience. I bought their niacinamide thing, and it really made my skin so dry, so dry that it really hurts the first day that I used it. Okay. So I had to put like all sorts of moisturizer and a face mask after, didn't help. And then I thought, eh, maybe I just did it wrong. Maybe I put too, uh, too many. So the next day, I tried using it again with little amount, but nope, didn't help. Still the same, so I had to like stop using it. And actually after that, that's when I felt like my skin became dry. Cause it, cause, it, Cause it gets so dry, it gets really so dry. I was, I was like so shocked, so I did a lot of research on how to moisturize the skin. I actually found a product that helped me, um, that helped my skin that time. So now I only use a facial wash, a moisturizer, and of course sunscreen. Sometimes when I'm in the mood, I use a toner, a serum, or a face mask. For the facial wash, I use Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I'm gonna try to do the YouTube thing. <laughs> yeah, so I use this one. I actually just recently tried this after my allergy incident. Um, I researched about a facial wash that helps with the dry skin and this one came out. So that's why it's small. Uh, I've just been trying this one. So this is the cleanser that I use now and it's it's good I like it and then next when like I said earlier when I'm in the mood I use toners uh, let me get it hold on right so these are the toners that I use I use this oops. I use this uh, Dickinson um, enhanced with Enhanced Witch Hazel Hydrating Toner. So yeah, uh, from Healthy Options. And then I use this AHA BHA Clarifying Toner from COSRX. And then last one, this is a pore minimizer toner from a derma friend. So that's why it's, it has no brand. It's from a dermatologist. So yeah, these are the toners that I use. And then for my moisturizer, this is actually my holy grail and i can't believe i'm saying holy grail <laughs> but this one is the moisturizer that i use it's the mediheal aloe vera hydrogel 
uh, whatever. <laughs> this has saved my skin so many times after that niacinamide thing and then also my um, allergy thing. So this has really helped me. This is a Korean brand. This brand is actually being promoted by one of my K-pop groups that I like, Espa. It's really good for me and it's actually really cheap as well. You can just buy this in Watson's. It's less than 300 pesos. So it's a, it's a great steal. So I super love this. Yeah, I, for, I forget to do that. <laughs> and then, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, this is a serum from Innisfree. Remember my allergic reaction, the eye cream was from Innisfree. But this one I like as well, but I don't use it every day because, you know, I'm, maybe it's really the Innisfree, so I'm trying to not incorporate it as much. And then I also use a face mask when I'm in the mood for skincare, you know, leave it on for 20 minutes. And, and then last but not the least, this is the most important one, and I couldn't live without this. Um, a sunscreen. Yes, that's right. So, a sunscreen is very important for me. I, I always wear this every day, every morning. When I'm just working at home, I reapply it every 3-4 hours. This is the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel. I use all kinds of sunscreen. I'm not really into brand. I used to ha I use the Biore. That's a famous sunscreen from Japan. But I ran out. I don't have anything. This is what's left in my um, skincare pantry. <laughs> so yeah, I use this one. So other things that I do for my skincare, I drink a lot of water and I don't sleep early, but as much as possible, I like to have seven to eight hours of sleep. Um, yeah, but that doesn't happen every day, <laughs> unfortunately. So, yeah, that's it for my video for today, guys. This is my skincare routine. I hope you learned something new or not. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much for watching again. And I really appreciate you watching my videos. So, see you again in my next video, guys. Bye. They have fish, fish, little amount, but um, there was a brownout. <laughs>